Democrats are for it. We can secure our elections, protect our democracy, but also uh, protect and save lives at the same time during this pandemic. Republicans against it. If people want to stand uh, in a voting line because they believe in their constitutional right uh, to vote, and that's the way they want to exercise it. That is the traditional way that it is done. Uh, they ought to be able to do it. The latest polls, the Brennan Center survey indicates 78% strongly or somewhat agree on mail ballot elections. 97% of Democrats agree, while 79% of independents and 57% of Republicans agree. And according to a new survey by Reuters Ipsos, 72% of voters support an all vote by mail election. Among Democrats, it's 79 percent, and among Republicans, 65 percent. The popularity of voting by mail is undeniable. During the 2018 midterm elections, roughly one in four Americans cast a ballot by mail. It's even more popular in Florida, where roughly a third of ballots cast in the March primary were mailed. Democrats who suspect Republican leadership will not order an all-mail ballot for August and November are urging Governor Ron DeSantis to extend the days for early voting, allow early voting centers to be open on Election Day, and provide more money to supervisors to ensure they have the machines and the staff to handle a surge in mail ballots. Nick Shanine is an elections law attorney. All of those things would help. The more opportunities, the better. The more funding, the better. Uh, and the more advanced planning, the better. In Orange County, Greg Fox, West 2 News.